You know, lavender has such a calming effect on humans, so it's no surprise that it can also have a calming effect on your pets. I'm joined by Jason Woofleaf once again, and Hank is here in the pet <laughs> aisle to showcase some of the new items, some of the real, you've had a lot of success, um, Jason, with the pet products. Right, so it, it's no surprise to me that you're like, this is where we need to expand and offer more. Yeah, well, you know, everybody loves our pets. Yeah. Sometimes more than people. Um, so we've added several new items recently, and a lot of it comes from both our customers and then our associates who get really passionate about certain things, mm -hmm. which I love because I'm not an overly creative person. I'm more of like, okay, let me source these products and find out how we can make it, and then you guys can run with it. Yeah. So our most recent thing that we're super loving is a pet odor eliminating both wax melts. Oh, eliminating was a hard word to say just it's, now. I know, it's okay. Odor eliminating wax melts and candles. So there's a product called Metazine that is a naturally uh, cur um, created product that neutralizes odors that are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, created by like dogs or they yeah. also use it in other uh, products where like, um, odors are a real opportunity, you know, in those uh, industries. But Metazine is, is natural. Mm -hmm. We've tried it in the candles. It works really, really well. We're making our batch today. This is a test one. We all took them home and we tried them out and they really work really well. So we're doing them today and we'll have these candles available tomorrow. Okay. Um, we have a couple different scents. Lavender, of course, we did a citrus. Um, but I'm, I guess I'm most proud of that one because that wasn't my idea. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of my but you, but you listened to somebody and you, you heard them talking about it because I think sometimes we think I'm going to put some extra wax melts um, and get those going or light more candles to cover up the smell and this is essentially a, what absorbing the smell. Yeah, so the metazine in there, which like I said, it's completely safe. It's a natural product. You can Google it, do all your research like we, I would encourage you to do when using anything around animals especially. Um, and we've only used lavender and a citrus, safe around animals. Mm -hmm. um, it does, it attaches, it's a molecular attachment that deodorizes and neutralizes that odor naturally, not a cover up. Yeah, and you get, I get worried sometimes when I'm spraying things, you know, I'm like, oh, that's probably not good. All the, you know, the sprays and the, yeah. the carpet powders and things like that, you're wondering, is it aggravating my animal even more? And I don't know yeah. half the products that are in that. You certainly can. So we have the pet hydrosol that we use, which is lavender, rosemary, mm -hmm. and uh, chamomile. Some of the same things we talked about over there with the people. Yeah. This is also going to be a great odor neutralizer. They naturally do it. We're going to add the metazine to this as well. So yeah. you can refresh um, pet beds, even your pet. We have our pet towel that we usually put it on, and then you can rub your pet down when they come in. Yes. And it smells so good. Hank loves it. it. Hank loves it. Hank loves it. He loves oh, to smell good. good. Look at it's, that. It smells fantastic. You can use it anywhere. It smells really, really good, but the, the as you can see, he's just <laughs> laying here taking yes. it all. Um, the good things about it's these like, is these oils are over. natural and neutralize those odors as well. Mm -hmm. He likes it, it's fresh, and it smells super good, so it's not covering up again. Um, but tons of pet items. We have our pet bar, which is super popular, and has been since the very first Great Day Live we did three years ago. Back with the Angie day, yeah. she held the pet bar up as one of the items we did, and we sold out. Yeah. So then I knew that we should advertise on WHAS. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you have something new. We want it to sell out, too. Yeah. One, one more thing that Hank loves. He had it the other day. He's our test subject, is our new pet balm for their paws and such. So coming in from outside, they get their little spa treatment yeah. with their refresh of our hydrosol spray. And, and so then, oh, here spray. he goes. He's rolling here over. Go, he knows go. what's coming. You know, and you then know, you just Hank. take your pet here balm. You it's great for their paws. Oh. He loves it. You can that. even do a little bit on the end of their nose. He yeah. loves it, and it's safe for people, too. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so hot outside right now that I, you know, you wonder, you probably worry about mm -hmm. him stepping out onto the concrete. Feel how soft that is and, and not. And he's going to, like, burn his little... And not oh the roughness of a... You know, he gets a little, he's yes. getting old. It's a little bit on his little elbow there. Uh, it's spa day, But Hank. it's super nourishing. They're not going to lick it. It's not anything bad in there. It's mm -hmm. just waxes like we would use almost in a lip balm quality. So it's good to safe around our face. We use some of the same waxes in this mm -hmm. as we do for that. So You can put it on his nose too, you said? He actually had it on his nose the other day. Oh, you did. Boop. He was like, there where's that go. smell coming there from? Go. I can smell it, but oh I can't. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you are fully pampered. But fully, he, fully he pampered. He loves it. We love it. He, you know, yes, you people do. love their pets. So it's always a good, a good time when you can write baby doll. <laughs>
<laughs> and I love this too because the minute that you put this on him and started rubbing that, he enjoyed that. Well, the blanket great, great that we tea. have, it's good for like when they come in from being outside in the wet mm -hmm. grass and stuff. A little hydrosol on it, wipe off their feet. Mm -hmm. A lot of animals have, you know, the licking of the feet and stuff. They get yeasty from having the moisture and all that. This is antibacterial, antifungal. Mm -hmm. the hydrosol is and this is not it's a um, polyester mix okay. so drying off their feet yeah. and stuff like that you don't get the wet smelly smell in here and they're good for like just wiping them all down getting that wet grass off of them um, relaxing them too yep there we go Hank you did good good new products he's like yeah, he's like, yeah you know <laughs> I do do good <laughs> all of this available uh, right even the, the things that you've just put out you you have stocked here so it's available yep. if you want to Come down today and pick things up. And of course, everything from hair eliminators to pet bowls to oh, yeah. uh, cutters, brushes, full line of pet care products as well and growing. One last thing, yes. we do partner with the Arrow mm -hmm. Fund and donate 15% of all pet sales to them each month because they're an important part of our community and helping these little buggers here when yes. they're in a, not in a good good state and they find adoptive and adoptive parents and foster parents to get them. them to good homes yeah good There's organization a portion of proceeds going to arrow fund as well all right next up what i'm moving Ooh. to the kitchen Ooh. i know jason walker <laughs> woodleaf is already preparing this spread for us we're